Hello, I am Minecraft Phenom08, and this is episode 19 in my Automate Everything Minecraft series. In today's episode, I am going to be building and expanding my applied energistic system that I have built over here. Now, the first thing I am going to do is actually go back to my other base. And. Whoa, okay. Here we are. And I'm going to paint a facade. Now, I actually attempted to do this. A uh, long time ago when I built this system right here I wanted to lay down a, an unpainted facade but it would not let me um, between episodes I did make this painting machine it's um, not too hard to make it's made like this but anyways how it works is you throw in one material that you would like to paint a facade or machine to be like and then you throw in your facade or your machine or whatever and it paints it now the capacitor I have in here is actually a really bad capacitor. It's one that I found and it is actually worse than a traditional regular capacitor if you were to make one. But the thing is, it was free, so that's why I'm using it over there. And um, now that we have that, let's check the time of the day. I guess there's a clock. Um, I have a bunch of stone with me, which I will need. I will also need a bunch of ME controllers. I already have most of them over there. I forgot about that. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this painted facade in my building right here to kind of clean up the look of what I have already installed. And how you do that is just right click on a, a conduit, an ender IO conduit, and then as you see, it looks like stone. So that's cool. Now, there's nothing that you can, there, there's no difference between that block and the other stone blocks aesthetically. Now what I'm going to do is, I actually need to grab an elevator, and I didn't think about that. Um, and I actually want to make a gray elevator if I can, or a light gray. I think I have enough light gray wool from my sheep spawner. So let's just look at my wool supply. Yeah, I have, I have plenty of light gray wool. So that's pretty fantastic. And I will be needing this because this dugout area right here is going to become a street. Now let's see if we can't not do that. So let's hit our M button. That is what we want to see. I think the elevator is going to go right in the middle right here. So it will go right here and then one will go down here. Now this street is basically so I can run conduit and stuff underneath um, by my buildings and everything and it be nice and neat and kind of out of sight out of mind but at the same at the same time I can access it so it won't be a nuisance to to change things if I need to or to build new things if I need to which will be happening quite a bit so I like to keep things clean this is I've I've found a really good way to keep things clean so I like to build these underground tunnels it's just really really nice for usability Anyways, by laying torches down, I shouldn't have any monsters spawning, so that's cool. Now what I'm going to work on is I'm going to build a building right here. And it's actually going to be almost the same dimensions as this building right here. But the new building will house pretty much the uh, ME controller for my new applied energistic system. Right now it's just a really, really basic simple system that is pretty much entirely right here. But we're going to be changing that this episode. So, first off, I want to take a snooze, and then we can plot out exactly how big the building is going to be. And then I can start working on building it. So, like I said, the dimensions are going to be almost the exact same as the other building. I think the dimensions I'm going to go with is an interior dimension of 17 by 17. Um, this building has an interior dimension of something like, I think, um, 17 by 20, I dare say. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yes, it's 17 by 20. So the new building is going to be 17 by 17. Um, I should have grabbed more dirt. Actually, I don't even need the dirt because I need to dig. So what we can do is this length will be the exact same as the short length of this building, which is this side right here. The long length would be this side. So this side will be the equivalent length. So that'll be pretty easy. And then let's do this side. So the exterior dimensions will be 19 by 19. Um, so right now we have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Uh, if I counted correctly, that should be correct. And then we can just work. Okay, my excavator broke. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to dig out all this area off camera. I am going to dig it deeper than this building right here. This building has two basements. This one is going to have three. So I'm going to dig that out and then I'm going to be back after I have that all dug out. So while excavating for this new building, I have encountered kind of a small problem and it's that right there. It's the lava. So what I want to do is I'm going to get rid of the lava. Uh, right now I have two basements dug, but I, n I would really like to have this third basement. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get away from the bees that are somewhere in the wall there because they're attacking me. I'm going to put down a tank. I am going to upgrade it. And then we are going to carry it over. Let's try over here somewhere. Maybe I won't get attacked by bees over here. And get rid of a bunch of this stuff. What I'm going to do is uh, move most of these guys right here and then use buckets. And we're going to scoop a bunch of this up. Because I already have a bunch of obsidian, I could cover this in water and try to mine it up, which would be slow. Like I said, I already have a bunch of obsidian though. I could always use more liquid lava, so that's what we're going to do. Um, so basically, this is how I'm going to deal with this lava here. Um, I will be back when I actually have this dug out to where I want it. So hopefully, next time I'm back, I actually have this project, uh, this digging project done. I finally have this giant hole in the ground complete, so the next thing I need to do is frame the building. That should be pretty easy. I do have uh, my wand here, so I will be needing that. Let's uh, hit the M key, and let's actually do this. In addition, uh, just to make marking just a little bit easier, let me fill in these as well. Okay, so we're off. And those bees are still there. I didn't get rid of them. Um, at some point, I would still like to, but it might not be in the cards. It's definitely not in the cards today, so I'm just going to have to deal with it. Anyways, should be pretty easy. I will need to grab my container full of stone. Um, let's do this. Um, we can put it... Let's put it up here for right now. And I might even need to grab some more of this stuff. Okay, duh, I know what that is. And, and the, uh, oh, my wand broke. I'm kind of thinking I have a wand available in here. Yes, I do. Okay, so its mode needs changed. And then we need to work on the floors. 
So that will be good for that. Um, and before I actually get any further than just um, getting the base floor or kind of getting the first two rows started, I need to grab um, a few things. I need to grab, uh, I do have torches. I need to grab some elevators. So let me hop, jump, and skip back to my old base real fast. And we can grab some elevators. And I will need four of them for right now. Let's get rid of some junk. Let's also grab some more stone. I feel like I'm maybe a little bit short right now as to what I have over here. So this is going to be a pretty big building. Um, let's... The entrance, I think, will be over here. So I think we'll put the elevators on this corner once again the, as basically the same as that building. Um, this first one can go here. Let's uh, work our way bottom up. I think it's just easier that way. Um, let's actually see if we can't change this mode so that I accidentally don't build on top. Pretty sure there's a way to do this. That is not it. Okay, there we go. Because I don't want to burn a bunch of stone doing something I don't mean to do. Um, we can put our elevators right here for right now. And then, um, like before, we need to lay some torches as well. Pretty soon, this building will be more than a shell or a hole in the ground. It will actually be a true building. Okay, so basically the framing is going to go the exact same way for the next couple of floors. So I can go ahead and do that off camera. And after I get done framing this uh, building's basement, I will be right back. Okay, so I have my building and it is... Um, kind of built up it is um, all the basements are finished and everything I've decided to have a lot of doors for it because there's no way to actually symmetrically build doors and say like the front of it unless I just had like two doorways um, I just decided to have kind of doorways all the way around and I just realized I actually need more doors so let's let's, let's make some more doors um, and I actually need more wood. Wait, why is this not giving me... Oh, because I don't actually have wood in the system. Derp. So the uh, pattern terminal actually works quite a bit differently from the crafting terminal in how it works. Um... So that's why I'm kind of fumbling around. Anyways, I got my doors. Let's install those. And then after we get these installed, I think we can start working on setting up the actual applied energistic system that is going in this building. So the thing is, um, the controller is actually, or can be a multi-block. We are definitely going to be using that. Uh, the MA controller that is whoops cool so we have lots of doors now so we have lots of access to this building um let's explore the basement real fast so first basement second basement bottom basement and you can still hear the lava because i just scooped up what it needs is needed to scoop up to get it out of the way anyways let's grab our controllers and then start building so we can, let's put away some of this stone and stuff. Um, we will need a little bit, so let's keep some of it. Uh, we won't need dirt or coal. Actually, that's, the rest of this stuff can kind of go in here. Um, we won't need glass for right now. Uh, I, and I don't think we'll need that wand. Okay, so how I want to build this and why I made so many basements is that I want to build this kind of into the floor 
or at least into this first floor here and let me see where exactly the middle is so this would be this is the middle of the room so if I had it one two three four five six seven uh, let's see if we can't make this thing nine by nine I'm not entirely sure if we will be able to I know that there is a limit to how big you can make the controller. I'm essentially going to make it kind of the exoskeleton of a cube. Uh, can we do that? I think we can. And I'm wondering if I have enough of these blocks. So what I'm going to do is, now let's dig the corners, and we're going to dig the corners out all the way down, or at least through to the last basement here, and we'll see why here in a second. Oh, I didn't dig, I didn't dig over here. Okay, so that's all dug out. Now the plan is to actually build this, like I said, into the exoskeleton of a cube. Um, this first basement will be basically the most basic hookups for the rest of my system, and that's kind of what the tunnels will be used for. Um, let's go ahead and... Okay, I kind of think we're going to have enough. It's going to be close, I think. And then finally, and hopefully this actually um, will allow me to build it this big. I know I can do 7x7x7, seven by seven by seven, but this one is 9x9x9. Nine by nine by nine. So I'm really hoping that this works. Okay, so far everything looks good. The textures have connected, so I think that means we're good to go. Um, So let's see, and we can see by giving it some power. If it lights up, then we should be good. If it doesn't, then we're not. So what I'm going to do real fast is I need to grab an energy cell. Uh, and I can make one like so. Let's charge it real fast, and I'm going to actually take a snooze while this thing is charging a little bit. And you know what? I think I should definitely upgrade this battery, so let me grab some upgrades. Because I know the more blocks you have in your uh, applied energistic system, the more power it will take. So I definitely should give this thing uh, some upgrades so that it has more throughput and more storage. Uh, we are going to be just using the this battery for testing purposes. I will have a proper energy system built soon. Um, I think last episode I said I would do it. I would probably do it this episode. It's uh, definitely not going to happen this episode, but should ha it should happen soon because it is it's it's something essential to the applied energistic system. I forgot my battery. I could just like thief this one, but that would be a bad idea in case I forgot it, because then I would probably die via teleportation. Because if these are not powered, um, you will die. Okay, so, moment of truth. We want you to light up. Okay, so that's not going to work. That's kind of unfortunate. So, um, normally it would light up and it would be different colors and it would slowly cycle through, but since it's red, I know it's too big. So what I need to do is I need to tear this thing apart and I need to do that. I need to tear this thing apart and rebuild it in a smaller size. And after I do that, I will be right back. Okay. So I have the new pathways, uh, dug out. Let's try this real fast. Uh, because I can't make it nine high, it has to kind of be built into the floor, which I 
kind of planned for. I I was hoping I could do nine by nine by nine, but uh, apparently I can't. So let's do this real fast and then test it. I'm relatively certain this should work. I've used this size of uh, applied energistics controller before and it's worked fine, but definitely should test it before we continue. Okay, so we have it completely built. Let's give it some power. And once again, we can throw this down, output to the bottom, and that seems to be working. Cool, cool, cool. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to shut this off because we don't need it to be powered right now. Um, I do wanna throw some torches on. And then we can work on actually hooking the system up to what we have currently. Now no applied energistic system can actually have more than one controller. Um, this structure counts as one controller even though it has it is a multi-block it is considered one controller. Whoa freeze. Anyways um, so we will have to get rid of the controller that we have already attached um, in the wall right here. So let's, let's do a little digging here. Uh, we have a controller right here. That will not fly. So let's get rid of that. Um, uh, I think for right now what we can do is we can have an energy acceptor down here. So we can still use this lever system um, before we build up our power system. So let's look at hooking this up. Um, I do want to grab some dense cables and I want to color them. So that's one of the reasons why I've had wool or been getting a lot of wool is that we will need we will need lots of wool for um, how I want to build my applied energistics machine. And let's try to organize things real fast. So anyways, dense cables. There are smart cables and then there are regular cables. We will not need the smart cables, although um, I will build some smart cables. Just not right now. Actually, you know what? I will probably build some smart cables right now. Anyways, to get the dense covered cable, you need to build regular covered cables, which are built. Uh, first off, I guess I need to build a bunch of these. How much? Quartz dust do I have? Oh, whoops. So I have some. That's not actually too bad of an amount. So let's grab our Fluix. And let's just make kind of as much as we can. And now let's grab wool. I have 2,000 of it. We're going to be using quite a bit of it. And then for the dense cable, I think it's just this. So that's 64. Um, let's make some smart, and I think it's uh, redstone and glowstone. Yes, so we have one smart cable. Let's actually go ahead and make eight. Um, because I believe that's needed for coloring it and we are going to color all of these guys blue S and I'm doing blue because I have lots of lapis and that's what you use to color these things okay so for right now we have a bunch of blue dense cable let's go ahead and see if we can't hook this up do I need anything else I don't I don't think I do So I think how I want to do this is we'll run this up and I want to, let's see here, I don't know the best way to do this. Okay, so these exteriors can go singular directions, whereas every, actually we can do the ex Exterior two, and then the 
this one. Mm. Think about the best way to route the cables in my tunnel. And I'm not exactly sure. You know what? If I don't like it, I can just tear it out. So let's see here. The outermost cable would be this one. So how I'm going to build this is... It's going to go straight up. We're going to come across. We're going to break into the tunnel right here. And in the future, I can actually replace this with the Ender I.O. Dents. Um, dense, uh, tch -tch -tch, where is it? Let's just type in Ender IO, actually. So they have, uh, I've used a little bit of the uh, conduit. And you know what? Let's just type in conduit because that's what it is. I've used a little bit of the ME conduit. We can use the ME dense conduit in the future, and we can build it into the wall and then use facades like we did with the regular conduit, and that will be cool. And it'll make everything look nice and neat. But for right now, I'm not gonna worry about that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this across and then it's going to run in this direction right here. And let's see. You know what, let's just go ahead and do that right now because I'm almost at the wrapping up point, but this won't take but just a second, I don't think, to make this dense conduit. So let's go ahead and do that and then uh, paint some facades. So let's build some facades first. Um, I only need a few. I have made plenty of conduit binder uh, between episodes, so that shouldn't be an issue. Um, and I will need a energy acceptor, so let's build that. Let's build something like this, that's cool. And then let's actually get the conduit here going. And I apparently do not have any regular Emmy conduit, but that's not a problem. We can build some. Oh, they screwed up this recipe. That should only make one. Anyways. Yeah, that should definitely only make one. Because essentially for each Emmy conduit, you're getting one dense Emmy conduit, whereas the, the applied energistics recipe is for every four regular conduits you get and you get one uh, dense conduit. And that's because the uh, the dense version of the uh, cabling provides uh, quadruple the channels of regular of the regular cabling. And we'll dive more into exactly uh, what channels are in the future. Because right now I only have a few channels. Um, for example, in Applied Energistics, um, different things take up channels. Like the ME drive takes up a channel, for example. The pattern terminal takes up a channel, and the ME interface terminal takes a, up a channel. So right now, I just have the three channels. I didn't grab my facades. Shoot. Okay, so I need to grab those facades. I did grab the facades. Okay, I'm just a moron. Anyways. So let's do this one real fast. This one down here. So shift click, we can take that away. Let's get our dense con conduit. Put it right there. And then we can throw down our stone. So basically, it looks like it's going into the wall, but there's a, a dense con conduit right there. And then right here, we will need to put the energy acceptor. And that should power it on, but the thing is, it's not actually connected to the rest of the system. We can do that by doing this, and then 
whoops, I shift clicked, should not have done that. Just regular click and that should be all fine. And let's go down here. Everything looks hunky dory. That's cool. So to test that this is actually um, functioning. Oh my goodness. What we can do is we can grab a storage bus. Come on, teleport. Uh, storage bus. So I need to make one of these and then we can make one of these. And then let's grab Actually, we don't need to grab anything at all. I have something over there I can use. Except I need regular time. Now these uh, storage buses and export buses and import buses will not attach to the dense version of the conduit right here. So we're gonna have to grab some regular, um, let's actually get some covered cable. Uh, yeah, sure, we'll use brown wool. My goodness. Apparently I don't have any more cable. So let's make some more. And then wool. And then light blue or blue. Okay, so for realsies, I think I have everything I need. I'm going to grab this stone right here. Um, let's see how much stone we actually have in the system. Right now it's 309, so that's important that we remember that. I guess there's an easier way even yet to test that this is functioning. If this is lit up, and it is, um, currently we should have three channels right here, and we see that we do, so that's cool. What we can do to test this is, actually... See how this won't connect, um, it's actually connecting facing the wrong way. Anyways, we lay this down, lay our storage bus on it, and then throw down our sewn modular storage. We should see when we go back that we have, first of all, four channels right here, instead of the three that we had before, and then... We should see more than the 300 and whatever we had stone before, and we do. Okay, so I think it is definitely wrapping up points. So in today's episode, I built this building, which will house my applied energistic system. And that'll be really, really nice. Um, it should have good accessibility. I can run the cables directly into the um, underground streets here, and that'll be easy to route everything. And I also hooked it up to my existing applied energistic system. It's all nice and neat and out of sight, out of mind. And it will be super accessible because of how I build it. So it's going to be pretty fantastic for the future. If you liked today's episode, give it a like. If you like automation in modern Minecraft, subscribe to my channel because that's kind of what I do. I am Minecraft Phenom 08, and I will see you next time.